I'm gonna fly fish at a solar eclipse. I've always wondered how a solar eclipse would affect trout, similar to how barometric pressure affects trout. So when I got the opportunity to head down to southern Utah to watch this year's eclipse, I decided to bring my fly rod with me, and after we watched the eclipse, we hit the river to see if it would affect the trout. My first cast at this spot, um, and I hooked the fish. A little damage on his eye right there, but other than that, really healthy brown. So we'll let him go. Woo! So I guess the solar eclipse doesn't really affect fishing, because that was pretty quick. Well, I was throwing a nymph, but I see a lot of dry flies on the water, so I'm gonna throw a dry. Oh, I got that! <laughs> Beautiful little brown. This is a fun little creek. Big ol' fish for the net. There's bigger ones in here. People often ask me why I bring a fly rod with me everywhere I go. And the truth is, whenever you go on a vacation, you never know what it's gonna look like until you're there. I'm glad I brought it because I was able to get in a little bit of fishing on this beautiful stream, and I was able to get some amazing shots of this solar eclipse. Alrighty, so that was a lot of fun, caught some good fish, and yeah, I've always wondered how fishing would be during a solar eclipse, so solid weekend. We'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this video, check out this one.